Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Garrett with Chuckin. Today we're out here in the middle of the Arctic and we've got a new gun review for you today. It's uh, 20 degrees out here in western New York. Uh, you might be able to see some snow flurries in the in the background. Maybe not though because it's a, it's a complete whiteout right now. Um, but there's no wind today and that's absolutely excellent. I don't mind the cold uh, but I do mind the wind so obviously uh, today is pretty good. Got a brand new gun to test out. Hang tight with us, we'll show you what it's all about. So the rifle that we have for you here today is a Daniel Defense Delta 5. It's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. It only comes in two options, that and 308. So obviously we want the Creedmoor, it's definitely one of my more favorite cartridges and for good reason. Everyone knows why the 6.5 Creedmoor is very popular. It's going into its 10th year of production now and uh, it's definitely, it's a, it's a great shooting cartridge. So we've got some options here. Uh, you know to play around with and definitely uh, you know it's proven at long distance it's a good shooter. For factory offerings right now being that it's 2021 uh, there's literally no ammo available anywhere. I can't find it online, can't find it locally and if it is available it's gone in five seconds so this is some stuff that I've kept over the last couple years with the Remington review that we did um, and obviously I kept it for good reason for more future rifle reviews. So the first one up that we're going to shoot is the Winchester uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, obviously 125 grain deer season XP. We're going to bore sight it with that ammo, and then we'll shoot a three-shot group. The Remington absolutely hated this stuff, so we're going to see if the Daniel Defense likes it a little bit better. Uh, next up is going to be the 147 Horn of the Match. That should be a, a proven shooter. Uh, and then we're going to shoot the 120 GMX, uh, the full bore ammunition here. Going to try that. Remington absolutely hated that as well. Uh, the Remington did like this, however, 129 grade interlock deer season, or excuse me, the American Whitetail. It's going to shoot that as well, so we're, we're going to see if this gun likes it. And then we've got a little treat for you at the end of the video. We've got the uh, some hand load going on here. Um, Burger 130 grain open tip match tactical. It's called the AR tactical. We're going to try those. And then we've also got the uh, 130 Sierra Match King tipped. So. We're going to try those as well. Two different loads with reload over 16. So without further ado, let's get to it. So one thing I want to point out about this rifle and the reason why I bought it was because I really wanted a gun that can be, you know, handled on the bench very well. It's got a flat base in the forend with it. This is a carbon composite stock directly from Danny Defense. This is something that they came up with themselves. It's full carbon. Uh, it's really rigid. I really like it a lot and it's actually not that heavy. The gun itself is right in that 9.6 to 9.8 pound range by itself, fully unloaded. I do like the adjustability of the stock. You can raise and lower this cheek piece up, you know, however you want. You can set it to your scope height. It's perfect. So what I really liked about it was the fact that it's got these little slots in it. So you can actually remember exactly where you had of that. So I liked it for this scope particularly. I liked it in that six, that six number range. So you can put it right in there and it fits in there perfectly fine. So speaking of the scope, this is a brand new scope for me. Uh, as you saw in the last couple of videos, I've had a Night Force SHV on the 300 PRC and originally on the Remington 700 and 6.5 Creedmoor. Well, I uh, bit the bullet again, so to say, and copied what my dad just bought. This is the NX8 2.5 to 20 by 50 scope. Uh, picked it up from Euro Optic. The two and a half to 20 range is just absolutely incredible. I mean, it's a great hunting scope, great for target shooting. It's got the uh, the throw lever here built right into it that you can position, you know, wherever you want, or you can just take it back off if you want. And uh, it's a uh, second focal plane scope, which I really liked. I was really torn between this and a Mark V HD from Leupold, but those scopes were all first focal plane. And I, I don't know, I like them, but I, I for me, the second focal plane stuff's been working just fine. You've seen us shoot woodchucks 700, you know, 800 yards with the second focal plane, and it works just fine. Uh, I'm not shooting PRS competition. I don't really need that first focal plane option. We dial all of our shots. I'm totally happy with second focal plane. So, but to each their own, you know, otherwise they're basically identical. But what really sold me on this thing was the turrets, the zero stop, and the actual reticle on it. It's a, it's a mill rad reticle but it's got a super fine little dot in it. I'll try to get you guys a photo of it here. But over the years of shooting groups and low development and stuff like that, we've just become really frustrated with really thick reticles and this thing being fine, super pinpoint, there you leave nothing to chance as far as accuracy goes. So 
Um, really happy with that, but hopefully we can prove its accuracy today, you know, whether it's this hand, hand loaded stuff or factory offering. So, like I said, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and shoot this thing down range, uh, show you guys what it's all about, and uh, go from there. But yeah, super happy with the gun so far. Um, fit and finish wise, quality wise, it's a full hammer forged barrel um, and it hasn't been machined at all. A lot of people are asking what this pattern is on the barrel. It's actually the hammer forging process. It's not machined into it at all. So it's been fully stress relieved, um, triggers fully adjustable. It's actually a uh, Timney uh, Hunter Elite trigger. You can adjust it down and I've got it set at one and a half pounds right now. I like my triggers nice and light and that's it fits the bill perfectly bolt super smooth on it um, it doesn't hang up anywhere at all especially in this last you know full battery uh, segment it's just absolutely buttery smooth uh, it's a little hangy in the back but I mean it's the, the fit and finish is really nice on it and trigger like I said super nice if you put it back on, I mean there's literally no creep no side to side movement whatsoever and then when you actually do go to you know to fire it it's just a, it's a nice light crispy shot doesn't have an incredibly heavy uh, firing pin, which I like. I feel like it's not, you know, wearing itself out like a lot of these guns are. They're just super incredibly heavy, and you can actually blow through your primer potentially. So this one's just really nice. One thing I do want to mention too, um, it does come with a five-round P mag. These are AICS. You can get the metal ones or P mags. Um, I, I hope uh, Magpul's watching this. I hope they come out with a desert tan one, so I can change up the color of this gun a little bit. It's a little too. Uh, too monochromatic for me. Everything's black, and I think I might leave the red dot in there on the uh, night force just to throw a little bit of color in the scene. So, but other than that, like I said, it's got you know full M lock capabilities, fully adjustable cheek piece, you know length of pull. It's the cat's pajamas when it comes to you know being adjustable, and you could definitely take this to a PRS match if you really wanted to. But we're gonna take it through the range first, and hopefully smash some trucks once the weather warms up. So hang with us. Right, so first up. Winchester Deer Season XP. Uh, the rest of the shots, I'm actually going to take the camera down to the actual target, use it as a target cam, and show you guys the groups. But I do want to show you how the gun actually functions. Uh, we've got five of these Deer Season XPs in here inside the magazine. So I want to show you that actually how it functions, that it functions well from what I've seen so far. And then, like I said, we're going to take it down to the target, ra target range, but I at least want to show you guys how this thing actually functions. So. Let's send another one downrange. That was that was pretty pretty close. Winchester here, not a lot of blow by. Uh, primer's fairly flattened, a little bit of cratering, not too much though. So send one down there again. Well, I pulled that one up. I felt the felt the gun slide right as I squeezed the dang trigger it went even higher so that one does that one doesn't count well it's tracking perfectly fine up and down I think we're pretty good to go as far as shooting these other groups so Well guys, the old factory ammo didn't shoot too bad. Uh, that Hornady match down there in the bottom right definitely shot the best one as you can see. Um, 
it, like I said, it's mighty cold out here. It could definitely be me. I'd plan on revisiting this, you know, this factory stuff maybe in the summertime when it's nice and warm out. But for right now, that Hornady match is really not not too bad, to be honest with you. Um, up next, we're going to uh, shoot the uh, the hand loads here that we've got, and hopefully one of them shoots really well. So. Well, let me zoom in here, guys, and show you show you these groups. Uh, first one right there at the top. Uh, that's 42 grains of Reloader 16. I discovered that the uh, the bullets are actually seated a little too long to fit my mag, so I'm gonna bump them back to probably 40 thousandths versus 20 thousandths. See how they shoot again. But so far, super good. Um, like I said, top one's 42 grains, uh, doing about. Uh, 2790 feet per second or so and then that next one uh, 44 grains in the bottom there I pulled that one that's out in the white I know it because I, I felt it as soon as I did so kind of negated that one but there's uh, three shots right there in the black so that's actually a tighter group than the other one as far as three bullets go um, but that's pushing <laughs> 3,000 feet a second so it's it's cranking so on to the uh, burger we'll see how the burger does next So now we get back to the real uh, the real thing you guys have probably been waiting for was the handload information. The, so the two bullets that we tested today, 130 grain Sierra tipped match king, and then the Burger Hybrid OTM Tactical. That's also in a, uh, a 130 grain. Sorry, you probably can't see that. There we go. The Hybrid 130 OTM Tactical. I was able to find some of them online, ordered them up. Um, Really, really happy with these things. So those are the two bullets that we tested today. First one up, 42 grains of uh, Reloader 16. Uh, they were seated at 2890, uh, which is about 20 thousandths off from my lands where they hit. And they don't fit in the magazine, unfortunately. I discovered that once I got out on the bench. So I'm actually gonna reload these, bump them back another 20 thousandths, and then go out and reshoot them again, see how they do. But our uh, Standard deviation on that was 16 feet a second, doing 28, 20 feet per second total average. Extreme spread was 44. And then we went down to the uh, a 44 grain charge with the same bullet. And this is the max charge. And these things are freaking screaming. Uh, group not quite as good, but they've still got uh, basically three shots right there within a quarter of an inch. And then one off a little bit. Standard deviation 10 feet a second, doing uh, 29.69 average. So they're they're absolutely flying. Uh, extreme spread of 23 feet per second, which is not terrible at all. Probably going to revisit that one as well. Bump it back and just try it again. Next one up that we shot was the uh, Burger Burger Bullet, and this group is absolutely impressive. Um, let me show you the speeds here. So 42 grains for lower 16 again, still 20 thousandths off the lands. Uh, 13 feet per second was our standard deviation. 31 feet per second was our extreme spread. 
28.53 feet per second was our average speed and it's a four shot group right there and I'll throw you guys up a picture here so you can actually see it in good detail but um, four four shots in that tiny little hole right there there's three in that one hole and one off so really really impressed with that one we're gonna tweak that make sure it fits in the magazine and then definitely shoot that again and then the the best extreme spread that we had out of the out of the set was the 44 grain charge with the burger 130 our average speed was 29.63 out of that one so again screaming pretty fast but our standard deviation was only five feet a second so to get a group like that and only have you know a five feet per second extreme spread tells me that I really just need to go revisit that thing um, for some reason just it didn't shoot as good as the other one whether it's pressure or just didn't like it you know in that node or whatever um, but regardless we're gonna revisit that one because that standard deviation is just absolutely incredible reloader 16 is a great powder but as you can see that's our best standard deviation out of all these tests that we did today and it's just absolutely incredible so I I gotta think that I can get that better um, as far as you know group size but maybe tweaking that seating depth switching up primer or something like that might work out and by the way I was using regular CCI small rifle uh, 400 primers for this I was not using a match grade primer either so that tells me right there that I maybe have a little bit of improvement to go and it can make it a little bit better but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video sorry if it's a little bit boring but we got nothing better to do here in the middle of the winter time in western New York so it's it's mighty chilly out but we're still trying to bring content to you guys and definitely appreciate you guys watching and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and uh, hopefully catch you guys on the next one. But uh, like I said, stick with us. We got more content coming out. We're picking up new rifles here and there and testing out some old stuff. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. So drop a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts and comments. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.